So here we are looking at the environment of the isopods. Those are the small crustaceans. We have a behavior chamber set up and the time has started. And we're gonna make some observations on, no. And they need to be put back because they are movers and shakers, these little roly polies. Uh, they need to be put back into their locations, this guy in this little behavior chamber. Now notice how this behavior chamber is set up. There's 10 of these. The behavior chamber is set up with one side being filled with light and the other side being completely dark. Now, we started out with 10 and we're going to see how uh, these isopods react to this one side that's got this flashlight, maybe not a super bright flashlight, but definitely has uh, a difference than the dark side. So right now, if we started with 10, uh, it looks as though there is uh, at minute one, one, two, three, four, five, six on the bright side. And then if you look over on the dark side, there is four over on the dark side. We'll see if uh, these isopods begin to move as time continues on. So what type of environment do they prefer? We'll see. Uh, right now, it's been a minute and 30 seconds. Right now, there looks like there is still the same one, two, three, four, five, six on the bright side. It looks like they are huddling a little bit into the corner. I'm not sure if they realize that there is an opening over here. The dark side still has the four over there. Whoops. Um, so we'll see if they begin to move. Uh, one, two, three, four, five on the light side. Oh, no, nope, one more just came in on the light side. Another one just came in on the light side. That's two minutes. And now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the light side and three on the dark side. Whoops. And they escape frequently. Uh, this chamber does not have high walls. Uh, it's just a Petri dish. So it's a very low uh, walled area. Uh, the light here, uh, you would think, I wish I could actually turn it a little bit this way. Maybe that would change their minds, but I don't want it to affect the dark side of the chamber. So here we are approaching three minutes. And it looks like it's still the same amount. One, two, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it looks like six. Wait, is one of them attached? Sometimes they like grab onto one another. Um, and here we go. Oops. Uh, it does look like they're trying to get away from the light. Some of them are trying to get away from the light. So, oh, wow, okay, it's been three and a half minutes. We're down to one, two, three actually on the light side and a bunch on the dark side. Oh, we're down to one. So it's been, let's see, 350. We'll keep that light shining on this side, that bright light to see if perhaps, now I don't want to keep them outside of their environment for too, too long, but we do want to test this variable. Now this variable is comparing the light versus dark. And what we're trying to figure out is what do the isopods prefer? Do they prefer a bright light environment, or do they prefer the dark of the environment? Um, right now, it looks like we have zero over on the bright side, and it has been, has it been five minutes? Not yet. 
Okay, and let's take a look at the dark side. It looks like there is a, a bunch of isopods over on the dark side. So after five minutes, we could see that there are zero isopods on the light side, and there are one, 10 isopods, all of them, on the dark side. So we could say that based on this experiment, isopods prefer a dark environment rather than a light environment. And we prove that because there were 10 isopods on the dark side and zero isopods on the light side. Uh, the independent variable would be light. The dependent variable would be uh, counting those isopods or the population of the isopods.